And good afternoon, everybody, and welcome here to New Hampshire Motor Speedway as we get ready here for the ninth race of the season of the NSRA Last of Us Light Series. We are getting close to what's going to be the chase for Trucks, Mobile, and Snickers, but there is no chase format for this particular series. It's basically down to whoever gets the most points at the end of the season. So... We take our next step here to New Hampshire International Speedway, and we're getting ready here for 30 laps of racing. Amadou Diallo sits on the pole position. Been a while since we've actually seen Amadou start up on the front row, but he's going to start on the pole. Comes in 17th in points. Alongside of him, Ty Dent in the 19, 8th in the point standings. Looking for his first win of the season. Jake Baskinger is going to line up in row number two on the inside, Baskinger comes into this race currently sitting 30th in points. And alongside of him is going to be the 84 of Austin Mongold, who comes in 37th in points. So four drivers in different areas in the points coming into today's race starting all up inside the first two rows. Let's get these cars rolling off, though. As they roll off, we'll give you the point situation coming into today's race. Nick Barney is the points leader coming into this event over Kyle Thomas. Kind of interesting. Two drivers with former NSRA experience up atop the point standings. But, uh, you know, experience can definitely come into play even when you're down in a lower series. Skylar Johnson's third in points. Morgan Grempler dropped to fourth. Harrison Ponder is fifth. Then it's Lyndon Wright, Nick Pericles, Ty Dent. James Tyler is now up into the top ten in ninth. And Tony Blazer is tenth. Our winner from last time out, Jacob Cornigo, is the 11th place in point standings, trying to work his way into the top 10 here today. One team that's definitely been on fire has been the Roush team, Nick Barney, Morgan Grempler, and Lyndon Wright, all up inside the top 10 in points. Stuart Bratton has a win, which he got at the very first event at the Battle of the Beach. And Aaron Henderson is 23rd in points, still looking for his first win, but not having that terrible a season as he's midway through the stands. But here we go, 30 laps of racing here at New Hampshire. Amadou Diallo gets us underway. Green flag is out. We don't come to this track for trucks, mobile, or Snickers action just this season in Last of Us Light Series action. They're getting really racy behind them. Matt Olsner, our winner from South Boston, going three wide, practically four wide and five wide there with Tony Blazer. And did they just wreck or did they save it? I think they somehow kept it together. Well, maybe not. Where's Tony Blazer? Where's the 42? There he is. No, he kept it together. We're still green somehow. Oh, but Kyle Collins got turned around. And that's going to bring out a caution. That's definitely going to bring out a caution. Oh, more cars there. Corey Williams is collected. Joey Van Hoot, our winner from Talladega, has been turned around right in front of Marion Schalret. Luis Hernandez has got damage on the rear of his machine. So does Lyndon Wright, and Lisa Gonzalez is back here. I don't know if she got collected in that or not. As Amadou is going to be the leader under our first caution of the day. That came out after the leaders across the start finish line, so they'll come to the stripe here. Ty Dent almost got turned by Jake Baskinger and almost got punted by Matt Olsner, and somehow, someway, they kept it together coming here to our first caution. Looking to make sure that everybody else is okay. Nobody involved in a follow-up wreck here. Looks like everybody is good to go. As we'll move back up here to the front. So Diallo, after that chaotic first lap, he is the leader under our first caution. Let's we'll see if the leaders may make any indication to pit road here. If this thing may come into a pit strategy race, who knows? Looks like Diallo is indicating he's coming to pit road. Ty Dent does not appear like he wants to come, though, nor does Matt Olsner. Nope. Dent stays out. Olsner stays out, but Baskinger's coming in. Mongold's going to stay out, and so will Sosnowski. So a bit of strategy going on early here. Let's look back at a replay of our first caution. And here's what brought out the first yellow. This was happening over in the turn four area. And watch the 38 of Lyndon Wright. Or not Lyndon Wright, I'm sorry, Luis Hernandez, rather. He gets really, really squirrely there in the middle. He may make some contact with Alex Tanker in the 83, or he may get a little contact from the 99 of Aaron Henderson. Or he may have just lost it all himself, but he clips the 26 of Lyndon Wright. And his teammate, Lisa Gonzalez, is going to get a little piece of it as well, as she was right directly behind the M&M's Ford Fusion. It may have just been a case of being in the middle and being really, really slideways through that corner, but uh, that's how they got involved. Further up here, something happens that starts, I think, with Corey Williams, Joey Van Hoot. Now, there you see, but where's the contact going to start? Okay, so 
Well, we actually had a couple of things happen here. Watch the right side of your screen. The one of Kyle Collins is going to go up off the nose and into the wall off of Zachary Chambers right in front of the 12 of Samuel Light. And then everybody's going to start scattering here to try and find ways through. Corey Williams moves way down. And then I think he's going to try coming back up. They're already four wide beside him. Contact there is, I believe, the 36 of Austin Weiner got turned into the 9 of James Shelley, courtesy of the 5 of Kyle Thomas. There's Joey Van Hoot. He gets clipped in the left rear by Corey Williams. And then it's just everybody trying to find a way through. Jason Trost and his teammate out of Bill Davis racing Austin Weiner. They're able to get by on the high side. Joey Van Hoot's car caught there in the middle of traffic. I believe he got a little bit of a hit from Marion Schallerup, but not really that significant a hit. So... Just basically a lot of follow-up wrecking where drivers are trying to find a line on a front straightaway that basically is boxed in. You've got a outside retaining wall separating you from the fans and the grandstands. You also have an inside wall separating the racetrack from pit road. So not a whole lot of room to be able to avoid a wreck here at New Hampshire. But that's what brought us under the first caution. Let's go back to green as we have a new leader due to some pit strategy here. And that is the 19 of Ty Dent. So very interesting strategy in the part of the 19, deciding to stay out, even though some drivers did come to pit road, including, at the time, leader Amadou Diallo. We'll have to see how that's going to work out for him as he'll be starting way back in traffic. Matt Olsner trying to go for two in a row. Lines up in second, third place Austin Mongold. Then it'll be Kyle Sosnowski in fourth, fifth place James Tyler. Jacob Cornigo runs in fifth, or sixth rather. Seventh is Kayla Schmidt, seventh will be Sky, or eighth will be Sky Commons. Wow. I'm having trouble here. Ninth, Tony Blazer and Skylar Johnson's 10th. Rest of the top 20 are Richard Johnson, Nick Pericles, Biggie Spencer, Amadou Diallo, Morgan Grempler. And then it's uh, Zachary Chambers, Samuel Light, Rohe Vidarvu, Zeke Marley, and Kyle Collins. That's the top 20 as we're back to green flag racing already. Some drivers stepping out of line. A battle there for fifth between Cornigo and Tyler. Now a battle for the lead. Matt Olsner going underneath of Ty Dent for the top position and it looks like he's got him cleared not quite maybe here into three he'll have him cleared and now he does well not quite well now he does I was gonna say Ty Dent was getting a run there through turn three but now he just lost it coming through the middle of three and four contact there between Ty Dent and Austin Mongold but somehow they kept it together but the caution flag is still out we are under our second yellow of the day his drivers having quite a bit of a problem with grip they keep sliding up the racetrack, and it's just not working out for him. And, oh, man, Amador Diallo, who pitted, the pole sitter pitted under that last caution. I kind of questioned that with it, putting him back in traffic, and apparently it has struck. The problems for the 11 team just continue to abound. There's more smoke here. Carter Fargo's got damage. Someone is smoking up ahead. That's Lyndon Wright. Rohit Darvu, teammate Crystal Reed, they're badly damaged. So too is Jason Trost, Mark Bursky, Austin Weiner, Aaron Henderson. There was some other thing that happened here. Luis Hernandez got a lot more damage on his machine. Kyle Thomas is coming to pit road. Morgan Grempler, second straight week, he's been hit with problems. Zachary Chambers, Benjamin Miles, James Shelley, wow. Ponder, Biggie Spencer, they're damaged. Ty Dent's got damage. Who isn't damaged, for heaven's sakes? Nick Barney, that's the points leader. 40th right now on the scoring chart. I think he's off the lead lap. He's got damage and no hood. Well, this has certainly changed that aspect of this race for certain. But Matt Olsner is the current leader. Let's jump back, look and see what happened. I mean, good heavens. And this incident is going to start with the 55 of Richard Johnson. He's going to go way up the racetrack, give absolutely no room to Skyla Johnson, who was there on the outside. Skyla gets the wall. Richard goes up and into the wall. And then it's just going to be a parking lot from here. Everybody trying to make it through the smoke screen. Here comes Amadou Diallo. No way is going to be able to get through that. Makes contact. Goes up into Morgan Grempler. There comes a hit from teammate to teammate. Zeke Marley pops Richard Johnson into the air. Corey Williams gets a hit into Richard. There you see other cars come piling in. They didn't even slow down. Baskinger's involved in that. Here comes Chris Louvier, full speed ahead, hits the upside down 55. And they're just still backing up in here. Look at this. Crystal Reed. Oh, Reed got nailed by Luis Hernandez. So did Lyndon Wright. He came piling into it. There you see Trost Fargo. Car up there on the outside right against the wall. That's Joey Van Hoot. Vidarvu, Henderson, Schallerit, I think got through barely. 
Benjamin Miles up and on his roof. So two of the Michael Waltrip cars upside down. Richard Johnson actually flips back over onto his wheels. There's Zach Rogers in the 66. Didn't see that he was involved. This car smoking on the apron there. That's Zeke Marley's machine. There's Louvier. And there's Kyle Collins coming to pit road too. He may have gotten a piece of that incident. But it's, it's almost like who didn't get a piece of that wreck. There's Grempler. And then, oh, don't tell me they wreck again right here between the 9 and the 13. Yep, they do. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's going to save it. Gets into him again. And again. 13 trying to get off of the wall. And I guess he got off of it. Okay. I thought I had seen some damage on the Harrison Ponder machine, too. So I thought he was involved in an incident. But uh, I guess not. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, boy. Corey Williams ran to the back of the 9. Oh, don't tell me. Yep, there they go. Yep, there they go. Corey Williams around, Shelly around, and Tanker around. And Basket, you're going to try and get through this. There's Richard on pit road. Baskinger did get through. Well, that just happened. And it's put us under our second caution of the day. Matt Olsner is the leader. Let's head back for our another restart. And we'll get back to go green on lap 12 of 30. I would first like to make a bit of an apology. Uh, I had forgotten that it's been two races since Matt olsner has been to Victory Lane because last time out it was Kentucky where Jacob Cornigo went to Victory Lane. RCR's second win in a row, but I had the wrong driver in mind. So for that, I do apologize. But Olsner is the leader here, so he'd be trying to pick up his second win in three races. He is the leader, and he's got the lap machine of Nick Barney ahead of him or else Barney's on the tail end of the lead lap no Barney is on the tail end of the lead lap Benjamin Miles is on the inside one lap down number of drivers back behind the wall but this is the top 10 as we go back green Ulster, Mongold, Sosnowski, Cornigo, Schmidt that's the top 5 then Blazer, Pericles, Sky Commons, Skyla Johnson and Big E Spencer that is the top 10 and think that New Hampshire would turn into a survival race, but it very well could. And what's Matt Olsner going to do here? He's got a lap car and a damaged car on the tail end lead lap, boxing him in right here, creating a bit of a wall as we go back to green. Is Olsner going to be able to get through this? Oh, look out. Oh, this is going to wad them all up. This is death. Oh, practically four wide behind him with Sosnowski, Mongold, Miles, and there they go. Oh, my goodness. The 16th is airborne. And look at this. It's Matt Olsner all by his lonesome. Nobody's behind him. Everyone just wrecked behind him. Well, that was a stroke of luck. Did anybody even get through that? Kayla Schmidt did. Pericles did. Skyla Johnson, Sky Commons. Oh, careful. Biggie Spencer got through it. So did Cornigo. Mongol got a piece of it, but he was able to drive away. There's Ty Dent, Ponder, Samuel Light, Austin Wonder, and they're wrecking coming here to the caution. Tanker's gotten collected in it. K.O. Crystal Reed's in it. Tony Blazer. Joey Van Hoot. Oh, Blazer just gets nailed by the Morgan Grempler machine. And somebody's... The debris from the front of somebody's car went flying into pit road. It may have been the 24 of Crystal Reed's uh, left front. I'm not certain. It was either hers or possibly could have been Tanker's. But Crystal Reed's car is absolutely destroyed. So is Chris Kyles, so is Bade Arbus, Amadou Diallo involved in another thing. I don't know how Nick Barney's still driving. His car was up and in the air. All four tires were off the ground. Corey Williams making a pit stop. His teammate, the leader, Matt Olsner, giving up the lead to make a pit stop. And that turns the lead over now for the first time today to Kayla Schmidt. Let's look back at a replay of what happened. Another huge wreck, actually two wrecks, putting us under another caution as we're getting close to halfway here at New Hampshire. Well, he just kind of knew something like this was going to happen. The contact initially actually starts between Kyle Sosnowski, Austin Mongold, and Jacob Cornigo. Really didn't have much to do with Nick Barney, but he does get collected. There you watch. All four tires are going to come off the racing surface for a moment there as his car gets airborne. And then everybody's just going to try and get their way through here. Actually, for the most part, everybody did a pretty good job getting through this incident. For the most part, I say, but... Oh, man, there you see Corey Williams comes flying in on the high side. He gets Amadou Diallo. And then here comes Vedaravu. I don't know if he plows into this. There's a number of drivers on the high side there that come crashing in. Luis, uh, Lu uh, ah, Lisa Gonzalez comes in. Kyle Collins, Rohit Vedaravu. That's uh, Zachary Chambers in the 48. 
and Crystal Reed in the 24. But then something else happens further up. And I'm not so Oh, wow, we had trouble here with Jake Baskinger and Morgan Grempler. Now, how did these two get together? Oh, now they had gotten through the wreckage. But watch on the left side of your screen. Marion Schallert's going to turn fellow Dodge Jake Baskinger. And Morgan Grempler, who's just trying to make his way through here, he's just going to come right into the direct path that the 41 is spinning. That's a tough break there for Grempler. He's been trying to just survive today after he got involved in the first incident. Baskinger's actually going to get the wall. Grempler, fortunate enough, I think he was able to actually not hit the fence. Uh, and then where does this actually, this other wreck, even start with? That's what I'm wondering. Does it start with Benjamin Miles or does it start with somebody else? I almost think it starts back here, but I may be wrong. No, it already happened up further up. Oh, it was the 45 of Marion Schallert. Now, talk about karma. Well, <laughs> Schallert turned Baskinger on the back straightaway. And now Schallert's going to turn Benjamin Miles, the lap down machine, coming here out of turn number four. But it's not exactly going to pan out in the exact same way that the Baskinger turn did. Benjamin Miles gets turned down, immediately pops back up, clips the 45 of Schallert, in the left rear, and then this is where the problem is going to be. A number of those drivers that were involved in that first incident out of two are a long ways back. They're still at full speed. They're not having a whole lot of time to break, and they're just going to come flying into here. Oh, James Tyler. Oh, man. He had survived, and oh, what a tough break there. There's Joey Van Hoot. There's the debris. It came off the right front of Joey Van Hoot's machine. And then everybody else is going to start piling in further up here. There's Crystal Reed into Van Hoot. Gets nailed by her teammate Vedaravu. Kyle Collins collected. Tony Blazer full speed ahead. Both guns blazing and he goes full speed in. Kyle Thomas is going to be able to slow down. And it looks like all these other guys are able to get through it, I think. Maybe not. They're not really slowing down or Louvier and Sosnowski, but they find a space and get through. Man. Hard, hard hits taken there and boy... I'm going to be telling you guys the number of drivers that uh, are running well in points that have been involved in these incidents when we get back to the restart, which will be right now. So we'll get ready to go back to green flag racing once again. We're finally past the halfway point, thank heavens, but we still have a long ways to go. There'll be a total of 13, make that 14 to go when we get back to green flag racing. Nick Barney, Corey Williams, Jake Baskinger, they're all off the lead lap now. I believe that's Harrod Henderson also back there. For the drivers involved in wrecks that have taken place here today, Nick Barney first in points, Kyle Thomas second in points, Morgan Grempler fourth, Harrison Ponder fifth, Lyndon Wright sixth, Ty Dent uh, eighth, James Tyler ninth, and Tony Blazer tenth. They've been involved in wrecks so far here today. Now Ty Dent, his damage not too, too bad. He's been able to continue. He's still on the lead lap. The two that have basically done the best uh, that are in the top ten in points of not getting involved in wrecks are third in points, Skylar Johnson, who's currently running in third. There you see Ty Dent in fifth. And also Nick Pericles in seventh in the points. He is right now in the second position. So those are the guys right now, based on how it's looking, that are going to benefit the most from today's race. But there's still a long ways to go. And we've seen a lot of wrecks happen right up near the front of the field. As here we go. Green flag back out. Kayla Schmidt going to try to get away from the lap car of Nick Barney as quickly as possible. But here comes Pericles right on the bottom of the racetrack, perhaps, to make a move for the lead. Yes, here comes Pericles to the bottom, looking for the lead. Pericles has already been to victory lane this season. Kayla Schmidt has not. Skyla Johnson was awfully close at Talladega, but didn't quite get Joey Van Hoot for the win, as there was some contact further back there, and that may be a wreck, but I'm not certain. Yep, caution's out again. Not surprised. And Pericles is going to be the new leader. We've had a number of different race leaders here in this event, but we've had a lot of cautions, too. And this time, it's going to involve again Amadou Diallo. Man, he's been involved in every wreck so far today. One car just disappeared. I think it was Benjamin Miles. Austin Weiner, he's on pit road. They're going to try and repair that car. There's Kyle Sosnowski collected. And Nick Barney is up to 25th. This is just trying to survive for Nick Barney and try and see if he can keep his points lead. And next week, caution's out. Let's see what happened. Uh, we're going to have to look very closely here up on the left side of your screen to see how this actually starts because it does not start with Austin Weiner. 
It may actually start with Nick Barney and Ty Dent. I'm not certain. Looking as closely as I can here. Yeah, that's what it was. Nick Barney squeezed Ty Dent into the wall. And then everybody just, with that smoke screen, decides, well, let's mash the throttle and drive right through it. And a number of them not going to be able to quite do that. As there's a hit, Biggie Spencer gets the 16. 16 comes right down in front of Austin Weiner. There's Kyle Collins, Tony Blazer. There's Amadou Diallo. Sosnowski runs in the back of the one of Collins. And corner goes caught back there. And look right there, Amadou Diallo actually up and on the hood there of Chris Louvier for a moment there. Both rear wheels were off the ground, and he was kind of being pushed on two wheels down the back straightaway by the 40. And I'm trying to see here. I didn't see Benjamin Miles actually get involved. No, Benjamin just came to pit road and retired. I didn't think I saw him get a hit. Did he hit somebody? Oh, maybe he's going to get a piece of the 16. Let's look real closely here. Does he nick the 16 machine at all? Yep, right there. Yep, with the right front. So that took him out of the race. Caution's out again. Said go back for yet another restart. I don't think we've seen our last caution. Welcome back to the Grip Fest 500 here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. That's what we should call it because these drivers have found absolutely no grip whatsoever all day long. Slipping and sliding is what these drivers have been doing. But we are now getting close to finishing out this race. There will be a total of nine to go when we hit the stripe. And Zachary Chambers is now the leader after Nick Pericles hit the pit lane. So Chambers becomes the new leader. Samuel Light in second. Third is Tanker. Fourth tied end. Fifth Biggie Spencer. Then it's Grempler, Ponder, Thomas is up in 8th with no hood, I don't know how. Mongold 9th, and Ulsner is now in the 10th position. Corey Williams is on the tail end of the lead lap, so is Jake Baskinger. They are 19th and 20th respectively, giving us 20 cars on the lead lap. Then you got Henderson, Barney, uh, Sosnowski, Weiner, and Diallo. Down through 25th that are a lap down. Three flag out. Zachary Chambers going to try and make quick work of the two slower machines of Corey Williams and Jake Baskinger, but Samuel Light right on his back bumper, and here comes the 12. Oh, they're going to wreck each other on the 41 and the 29. I told you. I told you. They just did. That's a caution. And that's going to be a break for Sam or for uh, Zachary Chambers as Samuel Light appears to not have nearly as much damage as the 48 does, but he just did scrape the wall, too, and he ran a little wider through 3 and 4 than... Chambers did. So Chambers will be the leader, and let's see who was involved in this wreck. Probably everyone. Well, Tony Blazer was in it. There's Corey. Everybody's so doggone wrecked up, you can't tell who was involved in the wreck or not. Well, guess we have to rely on the replay. Let's find out. Another wreck right up at the front. This one involving two drivers who had just been put off the lead lap. Baskinger squeezes Corey Williams into the wall. Ty Dent trying to slow up. And the only driver that really looked like he really took a hard hit was Tony Blazer. There you see Biggie Spencer. Blazer's coming into view here right there on the right side of your screen. He nails Kyle Thomas and gets into him again, actually. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Quickly go to that 42 car. Oh! Blazer and Thomas, two drivers in the top ten in points, hitting the steel guardrail. There's no safer barrier there. Man, that's a hard hit for both of them. Good gracious. And that puts us under another caution flag. As that's what took Blazer out of this race, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if he's going to be able to continue or not. He was awfully slow coming to pit road. We're going to have a shootout to finish out this race, which I'm certain is going to end under caution. So let's head to it now, shall we? So I'm pretty certain that if we end up having another caution come out, this race will end under yellow. So I bet that's definitely what the 48 is hoping for. Another thing he's hoping for is that Samuel Light does not get a good jump here on this restart because basically I think whoever gets to the line this next time after we get the green to restart the race, pretty certain the caution is going to come out and whoever crosses the stripe first is going to win this race under yellow. So who's it going to be? Is it going to be Zachary Chambers? Is it going to be Samuel Light? Biggie Spencer? Morgan Grempler? Or Harrison Ponder? Could it be possible for someone as far back as Skyla Johnson, Kayla Schmidt, Ty Dent, Sky Commons, or Chris Louvier to get up to the front? We'll find out. That's your top 10 as we're going to get ready to go back to green. Now, if by some miracle we end up getting clean and green all the way to the end, 
it's going to be a four lap shootout. But the likelihood of that is pretty much slim to not even remotely possible. So we're going to be basically watching, I think, a one lap shootout here to decide it all because I'm pretty certain that caution flag is going to rear its ugly head on this lap. So here we go. Flagman's ready. Zachary Chambers got a good jump. Samuel Light kind of caught napping a little as Biggie Spencer kind of got a good jump there too. This may be a battle for second. Nope, Grempler moves him out of the way. Here comes Harrison Ponder, three wide for the third position as Samuel Light tries to get a run here and Grempler gets turned, but he saved it. He saved it. Wait a minute. Are we still under green? Oh, cars got the wall, but I think everybody was good. No caution. Are you kidding me? We're still green, and Chambers is the leader still. Samuel Light in second. Ponder has moved into third. Green flag is still out. I don't know how we are still green. There's no way we should be green. We've been under yellow this entire doggone race. But it looks like we're going to actually finish this thing under the green flag. Are they still safe back here? Things have kind of spread out, so maybe, just maybe, we'll be okay. Nick Barney's into the wall, but he keeps it going. We are still green. Kyle Thomas has gone to pit road. Chambers comes to the stripe. Two to go here at New Hampshire. It took us wreck after wreck after wreck after yellow after yellow after yellow to finally get to a good finish here, a good fight for the finish, a green flag finish here at New Hampshire. That's been something that seems to be happening all time this season. We have not had very many races end under yellow, but Chambers maybe had a fuel. I think he's heading to pit road. He is. White flag's going to be displayed. Chambers is out of fuel. Samuel Light now inherits the lead with one more lap to go, and it doesn't matter if the caution comes out or not. We're racing it back to the stripe. One car coming off of pit road. That, I think, is the 07 of Matt Olsner. Next car to try and challenge for the win would be Ty Dent. Will Olsner come into play? He may pull right up here in front of Samuel Light. Samuel's got to clear him. Oh, he's got him cleared. Yes, he does. Samuel Light. Oh, not yet. Wait a minute. Not just yet. Will he get the wall? Will the 12 get the wall? He gets a piece of the 07, but he hangs on to it. Samuel Light's going to win here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. His first win of his career, and he becomes the ninth different race winner this season. Wow, it looked like it was going to be Zachary Chambers' race to win, but he didn't have enough fuel to get to the end. And Samuel Light was able to hang on. It almost put him in jeopardy when Matt Olsner came back off of the racetrack. But man, that was a close call there. Contact actually between the 07 and the 12 coming to the checkers. Ty Dent was right there ready to pounce, but was not able to to get the job done. And Samuel Light's gonna pick up the win. First win of the season for Penske and first win of his career. What a finish and it took us <laughs> practically the whole race under yellow to get to that kind of a finish here today. Well folks, that's that race in the books. Samuel Light came into this race uh, 21st in points. So this will certainly help move him up through the standings. And some drivers that were running well in points they wrecked out really early. Some drivers didn't finish too well, but at least they finished. And some drivers actually finished really well. So what the points are going to look like heading next week, I don't know. Is Nick Barney going to hold on to the points lead? I don't know. Or will Kyle Thomas have taken the points lead away from him? We'll find out next time. The next race that comes to you is going to be race number 10. That's going to be coming to you from the road course of Le Mans. I'll be joined by Anthony McCurry for that exciting endurance race. Hope you'll be tuning in for that. we got to finish up this race weekend where we got Mobile and Snickers Cup Series action coming to you live from Kansas Speedway. Be sure to follow the NSC Rand social media. Facebook and Twitter links are in the description. Here comes your official full finish results and overall points heading into our next race at Le Mans as you've been watching production of the NSC Ray offline racing at its best. Shears just got turned by the lap machine of Charles Samper, but now he's got left side damage. But he still opens up his distance. He still keeps a distance between himself and second place McCurry. But all that ground he gained, he just lost right there. But what a save! 